Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can work on a PDF document using Google Draw. So this is an assignment that was sent as a PDF and you want to be able to work on it so you have to either print it out or you have to use it as a like a textbook and then do your work in your math notebook if because this is math or there's a way to do it digitally I need to take a picture of this so I need to do a screen capture depending on the device you're using depends on how you screen capture so on my device I have an app called snip and sketch I'm gonna do a new sketch here so I just take a picture of this page a screenshot and I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to go into my Google Drive and I'm going to open a Google drawing file. And this is what it looks like. This, I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to right click and paste. Now there's that sheet that I need to work on. Once I'm in draw, I have different tool options I can use to work on this. Uh, so this one here says I'm supposed to group. So I can go to my drawing, oh, my drawing, here we go. Select line, I'm gonna choose scribble, 20 divided by four, so every four, I need to draw a line. One, here's another four, there's another four. And another four. It's kind of messy. I'm using my mouse. You could be using your touchpad. And then I see, oh, one, two, three, four, five. 20 divided by four is five. So I can just draw five in here like that. I could also, this is 16 divided by two. So I use my mouse and I'm doing groups of two. It's not as pretty as you do with your pen, but it shows your learning and the teacher will accept this. Now if I don't want to have to write my number in here and I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I can click choose a text box, put it here, and just on my keyboard type the number eight. And then that's how it looks. When I'm done this assignment, all I have to do is give it a name. So I'll call it my name, James, and it's a division assignment. And then I'm going to go to File, and then I download it as a PDF or a JPEG as a picture. And when I do that, it's going to save it in my downloads or in my Google Drive. And then when I go to my Google Classroom or Teams, or if I have to email it, I can send that file or upload that file. So my teacher can see that I did my work without having to hit print, without having to do it in Math Journal. I did the work right on the PDF.